Uh, one of the questions I'm beginning to get asked more and more is, why is there a growing number of young men, even non-religious young men, interested in quitting porn? I think it's fair to say that in today's culture, it's pretty much expected that all men will watch porn. But several years ago, GQ magazine ran a thought-provoking article about a community on reddit.com called NoFap, which is an online community of mostly men who are challenging each other to put away the porn and masturbation from their lives. Now, what I found interesting about this subreddit group is that it, it wasn't a group originally formed because these guys had a moral problem with porn, though I'm sure many do, but because they had a biological problem with it. A lot of these guys had developed what doctors are beginning to call porn-induced erectile dysfunction, which basically means they can get physically aroused by porn and only porn. They might be with their wife or girlfriend trying to get an erection or trying to climax, but they can't do it. As of making this video, the subreddit now has over 170,000 members in it. So I think it's fair to say, you know, this is a grassroots movement that's extraordinarily strong. So consider the stats. According to the Journal of Adolescent Health, about 30% of young guys have erectile dysfunction, ED, okay? The Journal of Sexual Medicine says one in four guys who are seeking medical help for ED are now under 40 years old. Urologists are saying this is a major shift compared to a generation ago. Because not only are these generally healthy men too young to be seeing ED problems, but also these patients aren't responding to ED medications. What's interesting, though, is that quitting porn and masturbation are helpful for these guys. Why? Because the problem isn't in the penis, but in the brain. Now, I did a whole video about how porn impacts the brain, so I won't repeat everything that I said in that video. But we basically, we should say, we now know from neuroscientific studies that porn does impact the brain in a big way, which can lead to sexual health problems. One study from Cambridge University found that among guys who are porn addicted, they say, quote, as a result of excessive use of sexually explicit materials, subjects experience diminished libido or erectile dysfunction. Unquote. Even among guys who aren't verifiably addicted, there are negative impacts. In a study published in the Journal of American Medical Association of Psychiatry, researchers actually measured how the amount of porn use correlated to changes in the brain structure and how different regions of the brain responded to sexual images. Basically, they found that the more years you watch porn and the more hours per week you watch, you have lower brain activation. So researchers said the more intense your porn exposure, the more your brain has a down-regulation response, aka the more porn you watch, the less sexual arousal you experience. Now, the good news is that a lot of guys are getting over their ED by quitting porn and masturbation. I had the pleasure of talking to the founder of the subreddit group I was talking about, NoFap, a while back. Uh, his name is Alexander Rhodes, great guy. And he told me that he now has spoken to thousands of guys who simply believe that they're better off without porn. They don't want to train their brains to be turned on by only porn. He said, quote, I like to compare pornography to cigarettes. For the consumer, no matter how much you're consuming, it's always a harmful thing to consume." End quote. If you want to learn more about how porn can cause ED and how to reverse the process, go to CovenantEyes.com. Again, that's CovenantEyes.com.